What is your relationship like with Dame right now? And Neil, how do you make sure that Dame remains happy and doesn't want to leave Portland? <laughs> Let me take the first one. You okay. can have it. <laughs> take that one. Uh, I have a really good relationship with Dame, um, and it has nothing to do with this opportunity. My relationship goes some years back uh, with him. Just I've always just been a big fan of his. We've developed a really good friendship um, over the years. Nothing changes now. You know, nothing changes now. Obviously, you know, me having to coach him, um, we'll get to know each other a lot more. You know, me, ha me having to, to hold him accountable um, to being the great player that he is. But it doesn't change uh, who he is, who I am, what we're both about. Nothing changes to me. You know, I, th I appreciate the question, Orlando. You know, Dame and I talk all the time, and Dame's, Dame's happiness always revolves around winning you know, and having a chance to win at the highest level. Um, you know, that's Chauncey's gonna inherit that now, but the ultimate responsibility for that falls on me um, and my staff, you know, to put, to put a team together that we can walk into the beginning of the season and think it has a chance to compete for a championship. You know, I think we've had some opportunities in the last nine years, you know, where I think that was possible and I think we weren't unrealistic, you know, to think that way. And there were other times where you know, no, we, we, we performed pretty much at the level of what the roster was capable of, or, you know, the roster may have even overachieved a little bit, um, you know, based on his leadership and the way that he can impact the game, the way CJ can impact the game. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, two things. It's one, making sure Dame's confident in that. Look, he loves Portland. Every conversation is he doesn't want to leave Portland. He wants to retire a trailblazer. He's expressed that to me and the stakeholders in the company. Um, and I told him, look, if you got to drive my butt every day to make sure we're, we're, we're out on a limb, we're taking risks, we're doing everything we can to build a roster that you feel and the rest of the guys on the team feel can walk in with the swagger knowing the roster is not going to be why they can't compete for a championship, that's on me. And, you know, I readily accept that responsibility. Um, there's different ways to do it, I think. You know, I think one of the things we get caught up in a little bit is the narrative of, you know, stars and that... That's not just a panacea. Like, just getting a couple of stars doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you're going to win a championship. I mean, look, the guy sitting next to me won one with a group that beat two of the probably the top ten players in the history of this game with a real team. And I think when you look around the playoffs right now, you know, we've got Atlanta in the conference finals. They don't have an all-star on their team from this, this previous all-star game, right? You've got, I think we've got four teams left that, with the exception of, you know, two guys that are hurt with the Clippers that aren't playing in the series, and one that, you know, is playing but coming off the bench in Rajon, nobody else has won a championship. You know, none of the other, the other 57 guys are involved in the playoffs right now have won a championship. So, you know, how you get there, there's a lot of variables. Um, and I think, like I said, you know, I willingly accept the responsibility to make sure we're as prepared as possible from a roster standpoint, that given the opportunity, given things break our way, um, you know, that we're there to take advantage of the opportunity and not miss out on a window where we can make it to the finals and compete for a championship. So that's my responsibility. So I guess the shorter answer is it's on me to make Dame happy. And the way to make Dame happy is to put the pieces around him where he feels like he can win a championship. 